Have you ever considered that the technology you use daily might hold inherent biases? Let's take a moment to ponder on this. Artificial intelligence or AI is a rapidly growing field that has already woven itself into the fabric of our daily lives. From navigation systems to social media algorithms to even our favorite streaming services, AI is everywhere. But here's the catch. AI is not as impartial as it may seem. To understand why, we first need to understand what AI is. At its core, AI is a collection of algorithms that are trained on data to make predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed to perform the task. It's like a toddler learning from the world around it. But just like that toddler, if the world it learns from is biased, the AI will inevitably adopt these biases as well. This is where the concept of bias in AI comes into play. These biases are not always apparent. In fact, they're often hidden in the depths of lines of code and vast databases. But they can have profound effects on our lives, perpetuating societal biases and discrimination, even when it's unintentional. AI is not neutral. It's a reflection of the data it's fed. So if the data is biased, the AI will be too. This can be especially problematic when the data includes societal prejudices and stereotypes. Imagine this, a facial recognition software trained predominantly on Caucasian faces might struggle to accurately identify people of other ethnicities. Or consider a job recruitment tool that's been fed data from a company where the majority of leadership roles are held by men. It may inadvertently favor male candidates over equally or even more qualified female candidates. These are not just hypothetical scenarios, they're real issues that we are grappling with today. The unseen bias in AI is a complex problem that requires our immediate attention. Now let's delve deeper into some real-life instances where racial bias in AI has been evident. Facial recognition technology, a marvel of AI, has been a subject of controversy. Now let's delve into the world of facial recognition technology. This AI wonder, which can identify or verify a person's identity using just their face, is increasingly commonplace. However, it's not without its share of problems. One of the most significant being its propensity to misidentify darker-skinned and female faces. This isn't merely an occasional glitch or a random error, but rather a persistent and systematic issue. This was brought to light by the groundbreaking Gender Shades project, which scrutinized popular facial recognition services. The project discovered that these systems performed better on male faces than female faces and were more accurate for lighter-skinned individuals than their darker-skinned counterparts. So why does this happen? It all boils down to the data used to train these systems. If the training data predominantly consists of lighter-skinned and male faces, the system will be better at recognizing these faces, creating a bias in the technology. This bias isn't just a minor inconvenience, it has real-world implications. Consider law enforcement's use of facial recognition technology. If the system is more likely to misidentify darker-skinned individuals, it could lead to wrongful arrests and prosecutions, perpetuating racial inequities. Similarly, if a security system relies on facial recognition technology and it's more likely to misidentify female faces, women could be wrongly denied access to their workplace, home, or even their bank accounts. These biases in facial recognition technology don't just highlight a flaw in the technology itself, but also underline the lack of diversity in the field of AI. They are a stark reminder that AI is a reflection of its creators. If the creators lack diversity, the technology they create will inevitably carry the same biases. As we continue to rely more on AI and facial recognition technology becomes more ingrained in our daily lives, it's crucial to address these biases. Because as it stands, the errors made by this technology are not random but systematically biased. AI holds immense potential in healthcare, but it's not immune to bias. Artificial intelligence has been heralded as the future of healthcare, promising to revolutionize everything from diagnosis to treatment plans. However, as we delve deeper into this brave new world of technology, it's becoming increasingly clear that even AI is susceptible to the biases of those who design it. Consider this significant case. An algorithm was developed to predict which patients would most benefit from additional healthcare interventions. Sounds like a step in the right direction, right? Well, not so fast. This algorithm was found to be racially biased, disproportionately favoring white patients over black patients for additional care. Here's how it happened. The algorithm was created to identify patients who were likely to have more complex medical needs in the future, with the idea of providing them with proactive, personalized care. 
The problem arose with the data used to train the AI. The algorithm used healthcare costs as a proxy for health needs. However, due to systemic biases, black patients on average incur fewer costs than white patients with the same level of disease. This is because black patients often have less access to healthcare, not because they are healthier. So, the AI, trained on flawed data, concluded that black patients were healthier than they were, and therefore less in need of additional care. The result? The algorithm was less likely to recommend extra care for black patients than for white patients, even when they were equally sick. This is more than a mere technological glitch. It's a reflection of deep-seated biases that exist in our society, biases that can have severe consequences when they infiltrate systems like healthcare. We must remember that AI, as intelligent as it may be, is still a product of human design and input. If we feed it biased data, it will produce biased outcomes. This example shows that AI bias can have real harmful impacts on people's health. And it underscores the urgent need for us to address these biases not just in our AI systems but in our society as a whole. Job recruitment has seen a surge in AI use but can it be fair? Let's think about it for a moment. The hiring process has long been a complex dance of human judgment, intuition and sometimes bias. With the advent of AI, companies hope to streamline and objectify this process, eliminating human error and bias. But as it turns out, AI is not immune to bias, and it can even perpetuate it. Take a look at a tech giant that developed an AI for hiring. The system was trained on resumes submitted to the company over a 10-year period. Sounds promising, right? Well, not so fast. The AI started showing a bias against female candidates. Why? Because the majority of the resumes it was trained on were from men. So the AI learned to favor male candidates, reflecting the gender bias present in the tech industry. This isn't a case of racial bias, but it perfectly illustrates how AI can perpetuate societal biases. It's like a mirror. AI reflects what it sees, and if what it sees is a world full of biases, then that's what it will replicate. In the case of this tech giant, the biased AI system was scrapped, but it raises significant questions about the role of AI in hiring. How can we ensure that AI doesn't perpetuate existing biases? How can we make sure it's fair? It's clear that AI isn't the silver bullet for hiring bias. Without careful oversight and regular checks, AI can become another tool for discrimination. It's not enough to train AI on a large dataset and let it loose. We need to be aware of the biases in the data, and we need to actively work to counteract them. So, as we embrace AI in hiring, let's not forget the lessons from this tech giant. Let's strive for fairness, transparency, and accountability, because at the end of the day, AI is a tool, and like any tool, it's only as good as the people using it. This case shows that unchecked AI can perpetuate rather than eliminate discrimination. Bias in AI is a serious issue, but it's not insurmountable. As we delve into the heart of the matter, let's remember that confronting the problem head-on is the first step to mitigating bias in AI. It's like a foggy car windshield on a chilly morning. We can't navigate the road ahead until we've cleared the fog. Similarly, we can't begin to address the bias in AI without first acknowledging its existence. It's not just about the algorithms, it's about the human minds behind them. It's about the data we feed into these systems and the worldviews that we inadvertently inject into them. Let's consider the importance of diverse training data. If we're sculpting a clay statue, we wouldn't use only one tool, would we? we'd use a variety of tools to shape smooth and perfect the statue. Similarly, to shape a well-rounded AI, we need a variety of data. Data that represents both sexes, all races, all ages, and all walks of life. An AI trained with diverse data is an AI that can understand and serve diverse populations. Equally crucial is the diversity of the teams developing AI technologies. If an orchestra only had violinists, would it be able to play a symphony? Probably not. It needs a variety of instruments to create a harmonious sound. In the same vein, we need diverse teams to create balanced AI. Teams that bring a range of perspectives, experiences, and insights. Teams that can question each other, challenge biases, and ensure that the AI they create is as unbiased as possible. As we step into the future, let's remember that technology is a tool. A tool that reflects its creators. If we as creators strive for fairness, inclusivity, and objectivity, our creations will mirror these values. By acknowledging the existence of bias and taking active steps to mitigate it, we can strive for AI that is truly fair and unbiased. With the right mindset, the right data, and the right teams, we can navigate this foggy road, clear the windshield, and steer AI towards a future that is equitable and just for all.
If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.